I have 16 minutes to collaborate with an AI and craft a game from scratch. Can we pull it off? Watch as we dive into the fascinating realm of ChatGPT assisted game development and find out if human creativity and artificial intelligence can work in harmony. Let the countdown begin. So let me ask ChatGPT for some game suggestions. Give five games or concepts that I can quote. First one it's suggesting is a Flappy Bird clone. So the second one is a break breakout clone. Maybe I'll try this one to find out what uh, it's all about. Write me the code for number two. So right now it's giving me the code for the game number two that is breakout clone. Let's see how it goes. So I selected P5JS because it's something I'm used to uh, and I've used it to create some other games as well myself. Let's see how ChatGPT does this. So what I'm using now here is GPT-4, the latest one which was released a few weeks back. Let's see how it does. I'll be really surprised if it works on the first go. Okay, it has stopped. I just know what to do. Continue. You stopped at... This is because of the text limit that it has. This completes the breakout code in p5.js. You can run this code in the web editor. Yeah, it even gives me the link to the web editor. Yeah, that's that's really handy. Copy and paste. Okay, it doesn't give me any instruction on how the game works, but let's see. Oh, oh, this is the game. Oh, okay, this, I used to play this when I was a kid. I remember playing this when I was in my school in India. Um, I was just blown away by the results. I was not expecting it to work on the very first go and I was just making sure if it's following all the rules properly, if it's bouncing properly, if it's getting the tile away properly and I was just in shock and I didn't know what to say. I was just looking at it. Yeah. Like the game that I played in my school had a lot of, a lot more depth to it. Let's try to modify it a little bit. Certainly, to add depth to the game, we can more visually appealing environment, enhance the gameplay experience. So it's suggesting colorful blicks. Okay, that's, that's really nice. Ah, okay, it's even giving me the core already. All right, okay, let, let me just try out the first one while it's doing the second part. Uh, so let me find the brick class or... Uh, I'm not sure how this works. It's still showing some error over here. Let's ask ChatGPT to fix it. Maybe I'll ask it to clarify it's uh, this one. Come on. Oh yes, I think I had made some mistake. Okay, it works fine. That's good, that's good. Okay, let me look at the suggestion number two over here. Power-ups. This is going good, this is going good. I have not tried this out before. So a neat thing that can be done is just copy paste this error message into ChatGPT and let's see what it says. I ran into a few more bugs over here and I was trying to fix them. I just used the trick that I just copied the error code that I received and I put it back into ChatGPT and asked it to fix it. Although I ran into so many errors, I managed to fix it with good help from ChatGPT. I think without its help, it would have taken me much longer to fix these issues, either trying to Google them or trying to fix them myself. And using ChatGPT has brought down the development time by a lot. I foresee a future where all developers, be it game developers or software developers or any other professions, you know, having ChatGPT by their side, improving their productivity by a lot. That is reducing the amount of time they take to do the same task. So maybe today some task is taking 10 hours to do, but with the help of AI, it might be reduced to five hours or even like one or two hours, depending on the complexity of the task and what kind of help you can get from ChatGPT. This has been truly eye-opening for me. I use ChatGPT almost every day nowadays either to get through some block that I have in my mind if I'm drafting some letter or I want to get through some titles for my YouTube or some or any other thing. I suggest you try it out yourself and see how it works for you. If you are in development, if you're coding something or if you want to use it for something else, I suggest you to try it out. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.